Hi guys, my name is Yash and today in this video we will talk about the pop-up box widget of the Powerpack Elements add-on. With this widget you can add impressive pop-ups on your website whether it be an image, a video, a link or even a save template. Here we will see how you can use the pop-up box widget and create custom pop-up box using the same. So we will just begin by adding the pop-up box widget onto the page by simply dragging and dropping it in place. With this widget you can change the layout from standard to full screen and change the width and height as well. You can choose the type of content that you want on your pop-up box from image, a link, a content or save templates or custom HTML as well. You can even enable or disable the title as well. Here I am using the image type for my content. Just click on this choose your image area and choose an image to work with. Select the image and click on the insert media button. In this case I will be removing the title. So just click on the enable title button so it will just disable it. Now go to the settings. Here you can change the trigger. So the current trigger is on click. You can set the trigger to page load or exit intent or you can design your own custom trigger. You can also choose the type of trigger that you want on your website. So you can change it to button, icon or an image. You can also change these exit settings as per your desire. Now moving on to the style tab, you can basically design everything including the pop-up box, the overlay, the close button as well as the trigger button. So we will start by designing the button. Let's center align the button. So you can see the button is center aligned. You can also change the text color, border, radius, typography, padding, etc. You can even add box shadow to it. Once you are done, we will move on to the pop-up box. For this, just click on this button. So you will be able to see your changes live. Let's try removing this padding here. So to do that, simply set the padding to zero and it will be gone. Now for the close button, Let's move it a little to the left so it look perfectly aligned. To do that, click on the margin link and increase the right margin to 6. You can change the size of the close button as well by simply entering a number or changing it with the slider. We can make changes to the overlay part as well. So overlay is basically the gray area that you are currently seeing. If you disable it, there won't be any background for the pop-up box. But when you re-enable it, you can see the gray area reappearing. You can adjust the color, opacity and other options for the same. Once you are done, you can just go ahead and give your pop-up box a try. So I will just click on this button here. You can also add animations to your pop-up box on how it appears. So for that just click on the animations tab under content and select the desired animation that you want. So I will just go with zoom in. You can also change the text on the button by going to the settings under the content tab. Once you are done, you can see the changes live in the preview mode. You can make numerous and multiple changes to the pop-up box which we will be seeing in the upcoming videos. So if you guys found this video useful, make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click that like button and I will see you guys at the next video.